Thank you, Catherine. Hello, I'm Lev Vygotsky, and for the next few minutes, we will talk about my three components of the sociocultural theory. Hey guys, you might want to take notes for your upcoming Praxis PLT. Just saying. Okay, now back to the presentation. As I was about to say, the first component involves the effects of culture on cognitive development through sensation, perception, attention, and memory, also known as spam. Over time with interaction these elementary mental functions are developed into more defined and effective mental processes or strategies. Now I refer to them as high mental functions. For example, memory is limited by biological factors in a young child, however culture determines the type of memory strategy we implement. Today, we use note-taking to aid memory. However, in pre-lit times, Tying knots on string or carrying pebbles were used as societal strategies to aid memory. As Catherine said earlier the second component, the more knowledgeable other, refers to someone who has a better understanding or higher ability level than the learner in terms to a specific task, process or concept. It may be a teacher, an older adult, a peer or an adult's child that may be more experienced. In some cases it may not be a person but a computer application that employers use to train their employees. The third component of my theory the zone of proximal development refers to the difference between what a child can achieve independently and what a child can achieve with guidance and support from a skilled person. And there you have it. Gotta go another student awaits. Now back to you Catherine.